this area well because my father used to take me here when I was a wee laddie and uh, we used to go to the loch and catch fish and we would cook them and at night he would tell me stories. <laughs> it's just about giving me the bulk that smell of shite off that. Is that your person? Is it your? Is it your? Cut! Why did you stop? I kind of choked on the smell of shite. It was like my nephew's <laughs> nap. It was like my horse. Think it was. You're working with horses, Ronald. You're going to smell shit. We'll go again. Sorry about that. That's a good horse. Well, is it finished, Jack? All plugged in. Come in. <laughs> is that it working now? Victor, fully operational. <laughs> Ta-da! Jeez, oh, Jack. Would you look at that? That's, that's absolutely smashing. Sudden. Right, where do you see this? Hey. Oh, yes, I've got the lot here now, Victor. I've got the cash register wired up there. I've got lager, wine, spirits, fags, matches, cigars, crisps, nuts, the lot. Hey, oh, it's absolutely smashing. So, eh, uh, what are you going to call it? You like this? Jack's Bar. <laughs> Jack's Bar? Oh, that's highly original. Must have taken you all of three seconds to come up with that. Shut your hole. What do you want to drink? <laughs> oh, what am I wanting now, right? What am I for? What am I for? What am I for? <sighs> Me lager. Ooh, each and <laughs> Come on, for Christ's sake. I've not got all day. What are you wanting? My usual. Right, pint of lager and a vodka and cola. That's the one. Thank you. Yeah. Now, what I was going to do was I was going to get myself a jukebox stick it over there, you know, for a wee bit of light entertainment. But, ugh, went down the bar as they couldn't see one I fancied. Anyway, they make too much bloody noise, didn't they? I mean, the neighbours have been complaining about the racket and all that. We can't have that. I might still do it, you know. What do you think, Victor? Victor. Victor! What's the matter with you, man? I'm trying to do my crossword here. Is that what you're going to do? Sit there like a dummy? Is it no a bar, eh? Jack's bar. Uh, it is. Money. <laughs> come on, come on. There's things to be paid for. You're charging me. I know, that's right. I've got overheads here. Such as? Such as, well, the electricity and all the stock. That bloody fan, doesn't it? Running fresh air, you know. Right, much you after. Two pound, Ed. Two quid? For what? Look, we both agreed. A small profit margin to cover my costs. You try and get that round over at the clansmen. They'll bloody chase you, so they will. Look, here's the deal. The lager's £1.20, 70 pence for the spirits and 10 pence for the dash. Right, two pound. Right, if you'll excuse me a second. <clears throat> Many halves in a bottle? I don't know, 20. 20. Is that volume or piss you serve, eh? Much is that a bottle? Eight pound. Right, eight pound, OK. And how much is a can outside here? 50 pence? Aye, they're there are boots, eh? Right, 50 pence. And I'll give you 10 pence for your dash there. 10 p, 10 for... A pound, you robin bastard. And that's a pound for your pocket. Don't start your pish in here. Cover your costs, be Christ. I'll, I'll be wanting a, a pool table and some live entertainment of that margin. I don't have to stand in here and take that shite in my pub. Two pound. Two pound. You should be wearing a mask and a strip at jersey at that. Here you are, two pound. Thank you. Oh. I gave you a tenner. <laughs> no, you didn't. Aye, I did. No, you didn't. Aye, I did, Jack. My mistake. 
I no getting a bowl of complimentary nuts? I'll give you a complimentary kick in the nuts if you like. Where's your toilet? Right, that's it. You're barred. Out. Here, I left a good coat in here. No, you didn't. Aye, I did. No, you didn't. Aye, I did. No, you didn't. Aye, I did. No, you didn't. Get off me. I tell you what, I'll tell the cleaner to have a look for it in the morning, eh? No, you do that. Will you be coming to the karaoke night on Thursday? You can stick your karaoke up your arse. Well, Right, Angie, do you want to take these out to the bins? Look, I don't like to. There's a man out there. He scares me. I did it the last time. But the man? Margaret, could you not do it this time too? Toss for it, right? Heads or tails? Heads. Voici l'Écosse, une série touristique pour Télé-France. Semaine 4, Glasgow. Bienvenue à Glasgow, une vie très belle. Une vie très amitié. Et une vie avec toutes les amiables personnes. Voici les dresses classiques glaswegiennes, le traki et le sani avec le bowl cut. Ils cherchent pour une noisoupe. Ils boivent la sunny dee et ils pratiquent la gobe orange. <rire> Voici la bougerie avec le délicacy Glasgow, le saucisson en square ou link. Voici aussi le haggis, le pudding noir, la panne aux mints pour la famille et aussi le scotch pie. Le cigarette et la paille, c'est délicieux. Dans la pastrie de la paille et le snout de la pig, les îles de la bouloque et la pièce de la résistance, la testicle. Mmh. <rire> Voici le Jackie. Il cherche pour la fétipi pour l'autobus. Mais ce n'est pas fétipi pour l'autobus, monsieur. C'est fétipi pour le vin tonique. Santé! Au revoir, Glasgow. La vie est vraiment miles better. All right, David. How'd you go that new motor? <laughs> Where did you go for? Two door? No. Four door? No, Cabriolet. How long till nightfall? Hey, how about an hour? <laughs> we, should, we should set camp up here. I don't think this thing's working. Cut! Cut! Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. Cut. I thought this lion bastard told us he could ride. I think it's needing a piss. Get, Get, the, horse guy in. Get the horse guy in. I'll be all right, can I try it again? Walk on now. <laughs> you magic in touch. Hi, man. You can't be a jockey, Becky. Big, mad, chunky, chunky.
bicky bicky. <laughs> totally dunk it and stick it in your gub, man. Big mad thing to make their magic chalky sweetness. <laughs> totally. Well, do you know there's a castle down in Devon called Cadbury Castle? Is that right, man? Cadbury Castle? Right. <laughs> big mad chocolate castle, man. You go up to the front door, and there's a big chocolate button doorbell, and you're totally pressing it. But there's nobody in, so you just go, come here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and a big mad chocolate moat, you've totally fell in it, man, like that. Okay. Sploosh, you come out, you're 18 stone, man. <laughs> that was rare. Climbing up the castle, chocolate was, but the chocolate soldiers are pouring hot chocolate down the top of you. <laughs> you're standing at the bottom, waiting on it, heed back. Ah. Oh, oh, here, yeah. but you've annoyed them, right? So they put down the big Kit Kat chunky drawbridge and come more these chocolate horses with chocolate soldiers on the back of them. <laughs> Up to the chocolate soldiers, you go, me and you, you double kink, snap the heads right out of them. <laughs> but they totally shite themselves. Yeah, right, but the shite's a walnut whip, right? You just scoop it up and you go... <laughs> ah, it's beautiful. You've taken that too far. lost, sir. This fog's chugging down thicker than a brothel of vulva fish. Never. This is nothing compared to the mighty diarrhea push shower of 95. I couldn't see my wellies for the down power. Shall I consult the soggy muff map? Aye. Flash the twat light. Sound the festering fudge horn. What's our boss, Ack Berings? Oh, it's perishing, Captain. There appears to be ice on our felch pipe. Oh, curses. Break out the thermal buttock bobblers. Oh, I think we've hit something, Captain. Our hull's sprung a piss leak. Oh, how is a bob? It's a nicey bollock, Bert. Tickle our heart to nuts, side lads. Aye, aye, sir! Hello? Oh, I'm, I'm glad I caught you. Well, where did I start? Um, I thought you stopped at the lights very well. Yes, very accomplished. And uh, then when they changed to green, oh, you could have... Uh, Gave David Coult hard a run for his money. Not that you're a, a dangerous driver. No, no, you're very considerate at the, at the crossing. And, uh, oh, I noticed that you had a wee pine tree hanging in your mirror as well. Thought that was a, a lovely touch of hygiene there. I don't really get the chance to get behind a wheel myself much these days, you know. I'm kind of stuck in this shop day after day after day. <laughs> But uh, when I looked out my window and, and I saw the wee sticker near bumper, it said, How's my driving? I thought, That's nice. I'll, I'll give him a wee phone and let him. Well, no, it's, it's no problem. No problem at all. In fact, you know, see the next time you're passing by here, you, you could make a wee pit stop, maybe come in for a, a cup of tea and a, a gab and could eat some uh, individual wee caramel cakes if you like. Now, what do you say? Hello? <laughs> How does that feel for you, Excuse me, Misa. 
Yes, gentlemen. We're wanting to test drive one of the Ferrari 355s. Five Maserati. Ferrari. Uh, 355. Just to see if we'd be interested in getting it. I don't think so. What? Not today. How comes? Well, to be brutally honest, gentlemen, you're not a usual type of customer. What? Well, you see, the kind of clientele we have in here are... Well, they're different. So, you're not giving us a shot, no? I think you might have trouble financing it. No, we wouldn't. Yes, you would. No, we wouldn't. You would. No, we wouldn't. Yes, you would. for a packet of four triple A size batteries, please. The alkaline ones, if you have them. They bother. I'm Bob. <laughs> I'm Alan. Um, Alison. There you are, Alison. £3.29. But for an extra 93 pence, these batteries come with an extended guarantee. Complete and utter peace of mind. In goes rhyming and them, bring them back. Our experts will have a look at them. All for just 93 pence. What's going to go wrong with them? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's leakage. Particularly prone to leakage, these ones. Any leakage, Alison, just bring them right back here to this branch and we'll replace them with a pack of similar quality. I don't know. <sighs> Fully acid, these alkaline ones. Yeah. See, you're out jogging, big Al. See, I don't have one of them. Ooh, what a belt it'll give you. With this cover, you're fully insured. Complete peace of mind. Yeah. See, you're at a party, right? Some nutcase takes a swally with them. Oh, could ruin your do, Ali doll. Some big dafty taking a swally of your batteries. You see, all the stomach pump costs, they're included in the price. Aye, complete peace of mind. No, thanks, but. Right, forget 93 pence. Let's call it 68. He's off his head to get you peace of mind like that, Aldo. You covered fire. Yeah. See, a bus runs over the top of them. No! Uh, just give me the batteries. I just want the batteries. Fine. I'm sorry, I'm just getting hassled there. I'm getting awfully flustered with that. It's all right, Ali doll. Can I have the batteries? You want a bag? Yes. This one's free, Ali Bally, Ali Bally B. Putting on your mummy's knee. But for an extra 23 pence, you get yourself a fully treated polyurethane lifetime guarantee grip grabber. Just the batteries. Just, just the, the batteries. batteries. Donald, the horses are tired. We should rest them. We'll rest them when we get to the border. How much further? Callum. Aye. How long to the Sassanax border? Yeah. Just beyond the electricity pylons up there. Cut! Those oak trees! Oh, sorry, aye. Oak trees. I get mixed up with uh, pylons there. What, what, what do you do with them? Do you just there brush the electricity pylons out later? Well, I haven't seen you in ages. You're looking great. That's not your two. Aye, aye. Is that your wee Stevie? Aye, aye. No, so we knew right enough. 14. That's him at a masturbating. <laughs> Is that right, masturbating? That's smashing. You're some kid, Stevie, eh? Aye. <laughs> ah, I tell you, Rory. There's nothing more invigorating than a duke in Loch Crathen. Oh, I can feel that, Alistair. And I'll tell you this, the black waters are famed for their medicinal qualities, too. Oh. <laughs> I know what kind of medicine I'll be needing after this. What's that? That's a wee peaty malt from <laughs> the Crathen <laughs> Inn. <laughs> Aye. Can you smell something? Indeed I can. Here! <laughs> we have found the new queen! <laughs> You're couple of fannies! <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Size 10, was it? Yes, please. There you are. Oh, sorry. It's OK. <laughs> Plain 15. Thanks. <laughs> Car for Mary Hill Roads. Pick up at Strowan Crescent for 20 past. <laughs> Just like to let the drivers know that that's me single again. <laughs> that just left me. Oh, surely not. Left me. Because a loving woman like me, with high moral fibres on her, was not good enough. So Archie's left me. Car for Saracen Street. That's the fourth guy to dump me since I've started working here. The only one that didn't treat me like that was my wee Jimmy. But I lost him. As you all know, choking his own vomit while we were celebrating. Celebrating our engagement. I don't know if I told you that I lost my wee budgie that month as well. <laughs> wee Sparky. <laughs> he flew into the chip pan, his wings were up in flames. He was in such a panic that he flew around and around the room. The curtains caught fire. My wrist was burned to the ground. <sighs> my mammy's wig was burned beyond repair. She never got over losing that wig. She died a broken heart on Christmas Day. <laughs> While she was opening my present to her. Wee puppy. She killed her and crushed it. <laughs> Half a Balmore Road. Vets was shot over Christmas. The wee puppy never recovered. I ended up Burying the wee sowl on Boxing Day. Just put the back of that empty selection for <laughs> That's me finished for the night then. Tony's taking over for me. Thanks for letting me bench your ear. Drive safely, boys. All right, darling. <sighs> right, boys. Still needing cars for Poso and Balmore. Mind that be blind boy I was visiting. <laughs> That's him just gone deaf as well. <laughs> You're John. Went to Alton Towers at the weekend, man. Oh, they've got this new roller coaster, right? The Vortex. You want to see this thing, right? Four loops, zero to 60 in two seconds. I'm totally standing in the queue. I can't wait to get on this thing, man. I'm sweating. People are screaming, right? And, and, and... And the whole time you're like that, eh? Hold up. Hold up. Uh, gonna jazz mugs? <laughs> <laughs> Volashi title. Uh, gonna usha razzle? No razzle. Oh, what else a uh, title? Golashi escort, golasha pentwoos, uh, una mefer, una knave, umpa shaven ravers. <laughs> uh, umpa. Club 69. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. <gasps> He's a your fader! <gasps> Mardo! Jazz mags! I'm so sorry. The power of Christ compels you! The power of Christ compels you! I'm so sorry. Jazz mags! I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. John, age 45. Internet millionaire. Business, online antique auctions. Mark, age 34, internet millionaire. Business, online bookshops. Simon, age 16, internet millionaire. Business, filthy photos of mother and sister. <laughs> DirtyLittleBastard.com
Sorry about your man, doll. I really am. Owed me a lot of money. £17,000, in fact. That figure's rising every month. That's your debt now, all right? What? £17,000? I don't have that kind of money. I can't believe you're coming in here asking me for that. My man's just died. Get out of my house. Go on, on you go. Is there a problem here? Oh, it's a big man. Big man, he's just walked in and asked me to pay off £17,000 of my man's debt. I haven't got that kind of money. Let me get this straight. You're the grieving widow, and this banger's asking you for £17,000. You better be pulling my plunger. This isn't any of your business, mate. Mate, I'm nobody's mate. I'm the big man. I'm the man that decorated my Christmas tree with the governor of Berlin's plums. I'm the man that stuck my boot that far up the chief of Strathclyde Police's arse. He's still to this day is shoehorning his shite suit. And I'm the man, unless you're no careful boy, who's going to rearrange your face that bad that your wee boy is going to be asking his mammy the night why there's a pizza at the letterbox begging to get in. I'm big man, what about my money? Well, I'm a fair man. I'll flip you for it. You call it right, you get double your money. You call it wrong, you leave the real ass here lane. Aye, all right. I'm a gambling man, big man. OK. Call it. Tails. <laughs> wrong. Heat. Right. Drag us me daddy out of here. Cheers, big man. Don't mention it, sweetheart. By the way, you know what the big man, 17,000 quid. <laughs> Get it tomorrow at one o'clock. No bother, big man. Oh, <laughs> 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 